So we're going to make a new force cam video today. And it's going to be on this AC power outlet. So currently, if you have something plugged into it, let's plug this in here. It's not charging. Right? Even if you plug it in in the back, here it still doesn't charge. Still no charging. Right? And now let's even put, without turning the truck on, let's just turn the power on. And it's still not charging. Right? Front or back. Let's put it back in the front, see if it does. Again, still not charging. Okay? Now, let's turn the truck on. And let's see if it, there it goes. So these only work whenever the truck is on. The truck has to be on, right? So now let's turn the truck off and see how long it stays on or if it turns right off right away. Not even a second. As soon as everything turns off, it turns off also. So we're going to change that today using Forescan. Okay, so connect your ELM327 to the OBD2 port. And again, I have a hard wire connected USB. Now, forget, don't forget to turn the truck on, just power, not the truck itself. And now let's open up force can and here on the bottom you're going to click on connect to vehicle read the warning signs make sure everything's turned off the truck is not moving take a second for it to read All right, so it looks like we're good. Oh, mouse. It's reading vehicle. Does you have a switch? We're gonna click yes. We're gonna move the switch and hit okay. Alright, see where it says ready here on the bottom? We're good. Now we can go into configurations. Okay, so for the PowerPoint timeout, we're going to go to the BCM, the body control module. We're going to click on the as built and click play here on the bottom. Let the air switch in high. And let's move the switch over and hit OK. Read the warnings. Let all the box load. Okay, so in the body control manager, you're going to go to 726.3901. And here's a quick list of exactly what we need to change these numbers to. So I'm going to go with the 15 minutes. I think 15 minutes is plenty of time for something to stay charging. If it stays longer than 15 minutes, I'm just worried that it's either going to drain the battery, depending on what it is, or just, you know, just the idea of having something charging, you know, could be causing some damage or some issues or fires, who knows, depending on what it is. So 15 minutes is plenty of time for me. I know some people have uh, coolers. If you ever in a if you're in a hot state and you have one of those electric coolers, you can plug it in while you go inside the store or go into the movies and come out and your cooler's still cool. Or heaters if, for that case also. But we're going to make it 15 minutes. So for 15 minutes, it's 384. So it's going to be 0384. Okay. 
the second numbers are still going to be the 0, 1, 0, 1, and the last numbers are going to be 0, 0, 6a. All right, so in line again, 726-3901-0384-0101-006A. Zero, 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 Everything looks good. We're going to go ahead and write. Read the warnings. Everything should power off and on. I'm going to hit OK. OK, so now we're going to try to see what happened. So we're going to turn power off. Wait a bit for everything to cycle off. And actually, I'm going to turn the truck on. See the charger start charging. All right, so we're charging right there. Oh, focus. Now I'm going to turn the truck off. Okay, so it's a little confusing here because the formula kind of changes as soon as you submit it into the system. But if you realize now the truck is off. While the truck was off, I was trying to do some research on the actual uh, force cam page. And I realized we're charging. With the truck off, it's charging. So now it's been charging for a couple of minutes. I'll see if it stays on for 10 minutes. But this is what we're doing here. First, you're setting it to one second here. And again, it's an extra step. You don't have to keep it at one second. This part here, the, the last... Uh, bits of uh, the actual value changes um, changes whenever you actually type it in and, and save it. So to see what you want to use as far as time frame, there is a formula here. As soon as you click on it, it opens this up here. So here you plug in how many, again, maximum 18 hours, 8 minutes, and 15 seconds. But let's say if you want to make this 15 minutes there it is 384 that's where i got the number from if you want to make this uh, i don't know 35 minutes six eighty four just five minutes 12C. Okay. 01XX and the XX kind of stay the same, but it tells you here what to change these into. Right. Just be the seconds right here. 726301. So we're messing with this these here. Alright, but it looks like it worked for us. So now it's actually charging with the drug being on been charging like I said for a few minutes I'm gonna see if it actually keeps charging for the whole 10 minutes or not all right so it's been charging for a bit so it'd be, it should be turning off any second now if it's, I set it for 10 minutes so we'll see if the 10 minutes actually works I'm also gonna try unplugging everything and seeing if uh, the this little light here turns on after I turn the truck off, I'll wait a few minutes and see if it turns on. Because if it does, it's probably something I want to get rid of. I, I just don't like the idea of having power on and any possibility of doing something to the battery. Or... Well, look at that. It just turned off. All right, so let's try it the other way now. Okay, so now we're going to try to see if we can make it not turn on. I left the codes as they were. We're going to see if it's charging there. Power light's on. 
right? I'm gonna remove this. That stays on, but we're not charging anymore. And turn the truck off now. All right, the light turned off. You can see the light turn stays off. Light turn back on. And then turn back off. So it must have realized there's nothing connected and turned off. Now with it off, let's plug it back in. It's been it's only been what maybe a minute since it's been unplugged. And it starts charging again. Unplug it. Okay, so seems like within the first 10 minutes, if you actually leave it plugged in, it turns back on. If it's not plugged in, it won't turn back on. It'll detect it, nothing's there, it turns off. But for probably for the full time frame, whatever you put in there, it'll see if there's anything even able to be plugged in. And if so, it'll turn back on. So now it looks like it's gonna stay on for the next 10 minutes. There's no way to turn it off. Um, so I'm I'm okay with it. I'm gonna leave it like that. Again, if I have something plugged in, it's okay for it to stay plugged in for ten minutes. Majority of the time, I don't have anything plugged in, and I don't need the uh, I don't have to worry about it being on for no reason. Awesome. All right, guys. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like the video. Comment on what you suggest the time frames are be um, should be, and let me know uh, if you have any ideas on anything else. Check out some of these other videos I have also.